So here's how you can use Google Docs as a vision board. Let's start with a blank document. And then, of course, let's name it vision board. So let's go to file. Let's move the loom button. File, page setup, go for page list. I'm going to set it as default. Click OK. It's so much bigger. And then you list down your goals for 2024. My goals for 2024. And then you use headers. I personally change the settings for the headers, update the heading, and then you list it down. January, Feb, Feb Ray, March, things like that. And then you add your photos. Look at the wide screen. It's so wide. You can add photos and everything right there. If you want to organize it, add a horizontal line. And then, for example, you will add a new header. My material goals for January 2024. My relationship goals for the first half of 2024. And then you choose a different um, level of heading. Let's choose that. Personally, I go for black bold and then update the heading to match. And then apply that. And let's say you have a list of Hmm, TV, bike, um, hmm, what else? Um, Kindle, that's mine. <laughs> and then relationship goals, um, go, let's say, go beyond the talking stage by February 2024, something like that. So let me demonstrate something if you hadn't seen this yet. So let me just move this thing so that you can see it. If you hadn't seen this yet on Google Docs, this is what happens when you use the headers. So because I used, um, because I used headings, they appear right here. You can jump right there. And you know what's cooler? You can actually um, collapse each header. So that's what's cool about Google Docs page list and why it's way more ideal for a vision board. And you can add a lot of pictures. It's so wide. So that's that. And hopefully you find this tutorial useful.